So, you want to know if canceled stamps are in the public domain. I know this is one of the biggest questions of our generation, so I'm here to help. That's because I'm Courtney from New Media Rights. We help individuals like yourself solve all your burning questions about media law, even the ones involving stamps. Before I answer your question, let me explain exactly what public domain is. Don't worry, it won't take long. Public domain simply means that artistic creations no longer have copyright protection. This means you can use, reproduce, or change the artistic work without asking or paying anyone. Almost all works made by the federal government are public domain and reusable by anyone. It's a good thing. Now, you need to know a little history behind stamps in the United States. This will take a little bit longer because, you know, history. Am I right? Anyway, even though the United States Postal Service designs its own stamps, They weren't recognized as the rightful owners of the stamp designs until the U.S. Copyright Act of 1976. Before that, no one had decided if artistic creations made by the Postal Service were creations by the United States government or not. The Act clarified that the Postal Service artistic creations are entirely separate from the government. And because the 1976 Act took effect in 1978, the Postal Services didn't get copyright protection until 1978. So, stamps from 1977 and earlier are actually in the public domain. If you find out the stamp you want to use is from 1978 onward, then this is not in the public domain. You'll need to write to the USPS asking permission, but you usually don't need permission if you're using the stamps for education, news reporting, or something I had to look up called philatelic advertising, which means the study of stamps. Philatelic you must credit the United States Postal Service as the source and include proper copyright attribution. This means putting in the copyright symbol, you know, the C with the circle around it, followed by the All Rights Reserved tagline. Now, I'm not going to ask you what you need public domain stamps for, but in return for my discretion, why don't you donate some money on our YouTube channel or at newmediarights.org? If you do, we might answer some more stamp-related questions. And remember, fill a telic. <laughs> you need to know a little history behind stamps in the United States. This will take a little bit longer because, you know, history. Am I right? <laughs> I just saw that line for the first time. <laughs> Let me read that again. <laughs> All right. <clears throat>